Welcome to Pumped Up Strength Arms and Abs. For this workout, we will want a medium set of dumbbells. So I have sevens and then what I would probably say a medium to heavy set of dumbbells. Remember, this workout is all about your upper body and your core. So we're going to be getting in a lot of standing core work and then some core work on the floor. As always, listen to your body and take any and all options that feel right for you. We want to pick a weight that is challenging, especially by that last second to last or last repetition. You can always start heavy and then drop down to a little bit lighter if you feel your form starting to slip. But we don't want to get to the end of our workout and think, oh man, I probably could have gone heavier because that is wasting our time. So go heavy, go hard, swap the weights if you need to, and let's get started. So let's start with this little shoulder roll, just back and down. Good, two more. Good, now brush off your shoulder so it starts to get a little bit bigger. Brush them off, two more. Last one, good, now really big, but slow it down. Really big, cross and open. Do that again. Really big, cross and open. Ooh, let's go two more, because it feels good. Open up through your chest. Last one, please. Excellent, now inhale, deep breath in. I'm gonna turn, exhale, dive down. Walk it out to your plank. Good, wide grip, one knee down, at least put one knee, if not two knees, because we want to practice our form. It's down, two. Notice that the elbows are below my shoulders. One more, and come right back up. One hand finds the middle, I don't care which way you go. Open to your side plank. Good, tuck it under, pike. Come back, open up. Come home, center, send it the other way into your side plank. Exhale, tuck and pike. Come back, hands come back down, lift hips, down dog, walk it in. Inhale, arms up, but make it that big circle with the arms, and then reverse it. Inhale, arms up, exhale, dive down. Walk it out, this time hands are narrow. One knee or two, tricep push-up, elbows go back, it's back. Two, in, two more, so we get three. Elbows are tight to your rib cage. All the way up, side plank, either way. Exhale, tuck and pike, so lift the hips. Open back up, close to the middle. Other way, side plank. Pike, lift the hips, open back up, back to the middle. Hips up, down dog, walk it in. Inhale, circle the arms, little add-on. Inhale, arms up, exhale, cactus. Ooh, squeeze your shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, arms up, you're halfway. Exhale, dive down. Walk it out again. Wide grip push-ups, down slow. Down, two, up, down, up. One more time, we want that full range of motion. Up, find your plank, side plank. Hike, rotate, open back up, switch sides for me, lift it up, look underneath your shoulder, open back, come home, down dog, walk it in, inhale, just a regular arms up this time, exhale, cactus, last one friends, inhale, arms up, exhale, dive down, walk it out, one knee down, tricep push up, it's down, slow, up, can you keep your eyes slightly forward? Up, shoulders down, one more. Ooh, hips up, down dog, walk it in. This time, slowly roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders back and down. My arms are definitely warm. All right, friends, grab two dumbbells. I would go with your heavier set of dumbbells for this one. All right, so I have my tens. We start with a little rotation, so still kind of warming up here. Tap your right leg out to this side. Knee across and we rotate. Exhale, tap it out. So you're tapping your right leg up to, out to the side. Good. Now, dumbbells up, shoulder press for eight. Seven, you got it. Here's four, three, two. Last one, stay up, tricep extension, go eight. Seven, try to keep pulling your rib package down for four more. Four, three, 
two. Last one, all the way up. Now bring the dumbbells back down and then all the way back down. Shake it out. We put the shoulder press and tricep together. Dumbbells come up to your shoulder. Good, one shoulder, one tricep. So we press up, elbows, up, and separate. Together, bend, in, down, keep going. If that's a little bit much, or if it feels weird to hold two dumbbells, we can always have one dumbbell. Maybe you go a little heavier, up, and then bring it back down. So I have a 15 here. We could use that for two more. Up, down, in, in, up, down. Now hold it at your chest. Your left foot taps out to the side. Rotate to the left, please. Exhale. Hup. Good, right back in the center. Just the shoulder press, just the shoulder press. I'm coming back to you with those two dumbbells. Four more, four, three, two. Last one, hold them up, put them together. Triceps, go seven, six, you can. Oh, here's three and two. Last one, separate, bring them in. That together. One press, one tricep. Press up and down. Press. Just two more. I know you got it. Hup. Last one. And bring it down. Set it down. Shake it out. So when we put it together, we go two to the right. Press tricep. Bring it in. And then two to the left. You can decide. Do you want two dumbbells or one dumbbell? Remember, if you're going one, go heavier. I'm gonna go one, just cause I think it's easier to go into the tricep. But I switched to my much heavier dumbbell, so make sure you have that handy if you wanna go that way. All right, friends. Right foot taps to the side, here we go. Exhale, rotate. Exhale, exhale, we press. Up, tricep, in, now we go left. Hup, hup, press, down. Good, head to the right. Press it up. Up, elbows forward, head left. Press it up. So good, friends. To the right, to the right. Overhead. Hup. To the left. Overhead. Can we go one more each side? Of course, exhale, exhale, press. Other way, last time. Press, hup, and bring it all the way down. Amazing work, friends. Water if you need it. Give your arms a little shake. Good. Woo, little chest opener maybe. Two dumbbells again. I'm gonna stick with my heavier tens on this one. Working our biceps and our back. So bigger muscles here. Palms face forward. Cross body bicep curl. Cross body, head to the right. So right. So I'm sorry, your palms are gonna end up facing forward for the next move. In this one, your palms can face your body. So this is home base. Bicep lifts are next. And then our palms face forward. So we scoop across the body. Now tight core here, your core is bracing you the entire time. Oh, two more. Y'all stay there, I'm just turning to the side. We hinge at our hips, hinge. Like you're wrapping a great big beach ball here. And then it's a reverse fly, so elbow squeeze. Up and back, up and back, we got it. Squeeze. If at any point this is a little too much, we can go to a low row or a high row. Hup. Just two more. Last one. Good, stand up. Now in the combo, we hinge and then one fly. I'm with you. So it's hinge, fly, and then rise. Squeeze your cupcakes as you rise. Brace through your core when you're in that hinge position. Hinge, fly. Four more, friends. Oh. Hup. 
two more. Last one, last one. And stand up. Set your dumbbells down for just a moment, AKA 132 count, right for all my music junkies. And we put that together. Are you ready? Pick them up. You have the option to cross body curl or cross body lift. Right, left. Hoop. Hoop. Hinge and fly. Hinge, squeeze, cross body. So it can be the curl. Hinge and fly. Hoop. Squeeze. Or the cross body lift. Palm is up. Hinge. You can. Squeeze. Lift. Hinge. Four down, four to go. We can. Hup. Remember, control is the name of the game here. On the way up and the way down. Two more. Hinge. Last one, please. Hinge. And stand it up. Set those down. Shake it out. Two combos down, two blocks down, two to go. We can do it. Take your arms, inhale, arms up, interlace your fingers, press up, and then ooh, reach over to the side. Reach center, drop the hands for a little stretch in that mid back. Inhale, arms up, and then head over to the other side. Good, come back up, let it go. Okay, moving on to block three. I'm gonna stick with my tens for now, but know that I may grab my sevens at some point, so I'm gonna have them handy. You can do the same if you'd like. Pick up our dumbbells. Here we go, friends. Hinge at your hips, drop your dumbbells down. It's just a row first. So now we're working more of that mid to low back, which is the, versus the reverse fly, which is mid to upper back. Two more, core is working the whole time. Hold it, tricep kick back right here, go squeeze. Squeeze, you got it. Hup. It's four, keep your elbows locked and loaded by your side. Last one, drop them down. Good, we row and extend. Row, extend, in, down, row. Hup. Keep your eyes a little bit in front of you. So if you're looking at your shoelaces, can you lift your eyes for four more go? Four, Hup. three, I know, I know, shoulders relax, two. Now on this one, we stand up as we drop the dumbbells. Alternate front raises, right and left. Oh, so good. Working the front, your anterior and medial deltoid, the middle of your shoulder. Good, we have four more. Four on each side, of course. When we send one dumbbell at a time, our core has to work to counterbalance. Last one and you get a little break. Set your dumbbells down. So we wanna set the dumbbells down occasionally to give our grip a break. If our grip gets tired, we tend to go like this to compensate even though our shoulders can't help us. So shake it out before we pick them back up and put that combo together. So for the hinge, you're gonna row as you hinge and then drop the dumbbells down as you stand up. So those two movements happen together. Pick them up. Are you ready? Row and hinge. Hinge, kick it back. Alternate shoulders, right and left. So from this side, we pull back. Extend, in, stand tall. Lift and lift. Do it again. Hup. Right, left. Do that again. Can I throw you for a little brain teaser? Can you shoulder raise left, right, left, right? Yes, good. Row, tricep. Go left, right. Make our body think a little harder here, huh? Start with the opposite side than we normally do left, right. Good, we have two more just like that. Y'all are doing great. Hinge, kick it back. Left, right. Again, again, my friends. Hup. Left, right. Oh, so good. 
and set it down. So set your dumbbells down, but leave them close by. Our first combo on the mat, our first block, we actually don't need any weights at all. So sip of water if you'd like. Okay, friends, here we go. We start in a little bit of a V position here. Hand is out. Good, just the top leg first. We slide it up, up, two, and down. Notice we're rolling slightly backwards on our cupcake. Exhale, top leg. Now, if you're feeling feisty, we can come up to a full V sit, but know that we never have to, right? We can always stick with just the top leg. And I promise if you're really thinking about bottom of rib cage to top of hip bone, you will feel that last one here. Good. Now, we ended up back on our side. You're going to have time. Forearm down. So use your top hand to get up, forearm down. We lift up into our side plank. And then just like the warm up, we have a little pike here, but from this position, oh, hey, shoulder work, right? Let's hold it. Good, with the music, down for two, down. Two, we can have our feet staggered, top foot in front. So we really have to push down through our arm that's on the ground to lift the hips. So shoulder and obliques here. Last one, last one. Good, hold it, lower the hips. We stay right here, just kind of hang out. I'm just kidding, let's stay up out of our shoulder. So we lift to side plank, slow pike, and then lower back down, yes? Feet can be stacked or bottom knee can be down. Ready, we lift up, pike, open, and then drop the hip down. There's time because we transition. Lift, pike, open, hip drops. Again, lift, pike, open, and down. Last one. Up, pike, open, drop down, and then sit up and unload that shoulder for a moment. All right, we put it together with our V sit. Yes, you're coming home on this combo. So remember, you can have one leg or two. I'm gonna go one leg in the first one. Exhale, curl up, and down. You have time. Side plank, lift, tuck, open, hip drop, arm out. Up, two, down, up, up, pike and rotate, hup, hup, get set. Be sit if you wish, rotate, down, up, up, pike, you can, open, drop, arm out, exhale, lower, elbow, hips, pike, open, down, set it up, last one, let's go, hup, down, forearm, plank, pike, open, pike, and lower. Switch it sides, everyone. So for the first part, we're in a slightly V position, so feet are slightly in front, top leg only. So you want as light a touch as possible in this bottom arm, light a touch as possible. You could even stick a gliding disc underneath it. Good. Full if you wish, and roll it back. Let's go for two more. Last one. And stay down. Good, hand helps you get up into your side plank. Feet can be stacked or alternating. Pike up, two, or staggered, I think is the right word there. Two more. Last one. Hips dip, hips lift. So hips up, pike, open, hips lower, pause. Again, hips up, pike, open, hips down. Again, hips up, pike, look under, open, hips down. One more, 
Hup. Pike. Open. Hips down. Good. Sit up for a moment to unload your shoulder. We put all of that together, friends, and you are almost home free. This one is fast, furious, and to the point, right? So get set up for your V-sit. I'm going one leg first. Single leg V-sit. Up. You have time. So it's forearm, hips, pike. Open, hips down, lie down. Yes. V-sit. Lower. Forearm, side plank. Slow. Slow. And then it's quick, quick. V-sit. Down. Forearm, plank, slow, slow, down, down, yes, up, scoop, Woo. side plank, pike, look under, bottom knee can be down at any time, two more sets, we can, I think I'm traveling in that direction, up, up, open, down, arm out, last one, scoop, Lower, side plank, up, hold it, and set it down. Let's bend our legs. Coming up here, find a little mermaid. So your left hand is down, right arm reaches up and press your hip forward. Ooh, so good. Come back down. Right hand finds your calf, reach up and over. Good, let's come up, switch your legs. This time, right hand goes down, left arm reaches up and press. Come down. Good, hold on to your shin, reach up and over. Come up to a cross-legged position. Right arm crosses over, drop your shoulder down. Send it back. Left arm crosses over. Send it back. And both arms drop back behind you. Interlace your fingers. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. Release it. Take a deep breath in. Interlace your fingers. Once again, press up. Press forward. Ooh, that one feels good. Interlace. Inhale. Exhale. Let the arms float down. And that was pumped up arms and abs, my friends. Until next time.